Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Noelle and this is Noelle Roberts Studio, your place for all things Pilates and wellness. And today I am going over a really great video for you all about fixing your form when it comes to neutral spine. Now, if you struggle with neutral spine, you are not alone. The first time I heard it, I had no idea what it even meant and how on earth I was even supposed to know if I was in neutral spine or not. Now, in your Pilates classes, you will hear crazy terminology thrown at you quite often. And that's because as Pilates instructors, we are trained in the anatomy and alignment of your body and we will speak to that as we're teaching. However, sometimes there's a little bit of lost in translation that happens as a Pilates student because you may not have the same background or knowledge about anatomy and your own body. So really quick, neutral spine. This is something that um, a lot of people, it's like deer in the headlights the first time they hear it. All it basically means is that all of your natural curves of your spine are in place. So if you look at an, I wish I had like a skeleton here, but if you look at a spine, you'll notice that there's a protrusion up by the top of your head and then it curves in at your cervical. It protrudes back out a little bit towards your thoracic. And then it, it rounds back in, so it caves back in a little bit around your lumbar spine, and then it pops back out towards your tailbone. So it's like this S curve that you have in your spine. Now, when we're talking about neutral, we want all of those curves in place. So what I'm gonna be speaking to specifically in this video is how to make sure that you're neutral when you're lying down in supine. And supine just means on your back. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and lie all the way down with me, and we're just gonna walk through this together. So something that gets a little bit tricky and a little bit confusing in Pilates is you'll often hear an instructor say C curve or tuck or even imprint your spine into the mat. Now these are other terms that we use um, when we're not wanting a neutral spine or we're wanting us to come into more of a flexed um, lumbar spine position. And I'll show you what they look like and, and how they're different here, but let's start with neutral. So when you're lying on your mat, I start from my tailbone and work my way up to the top of my head as just a quick little check-in. So what you wanna feel for, and feel free to kinda like rock around through your hips, roll through your pelvis a little bit, but what you wanna feel is that your sacrum, so that lowest portion of your spine is nice and heavy on your mat. It just feels weighted. You're not tipping that tailbone all the way down, which would create a huge arch in your back, but you're also not tucking and lifting your tailbone off of the mat, which would create compression or imprinting into the mat. So you wanna feel that sacrum, like it's got a weight and it's just pulling nice and heavy into the mat. From there, you may naturally feel a little breath of air in your low spine. Now everybody's spines are different, so if you don't feel that, if you feel like your back is compressed into the mat, it's okay. Um, you will get there to where you feel that difference. But it's really not a huge, um, it's not like a huge arch in your back that you're looking for. It's really just a tiny little breath of air. Some people have more curves, some people have less, but really what we're looking for is just a small little curve in that low spine. Then from there we work our way up and what I really like to look for is the ribs first because that gives me a nice cue for my thoracic spine. But oftentimes when we're in this position, it's just very natural for our ribs to flare open and for us to be very very heavy up here in our neck and our shoulders and for the thoracic or the upper back to be a little bit arched off of the mat and that's what we don't want. So they're just gently resting into the mat and I also like to think about the front of my ribs hugging together. So this is where that breath work really starts to get involved in your alignment. So as you exhale you can kind of see that natural hug happens through your ribs and you can feel a little bit heavier in your back but also broader, right? So you can feel all the way out into the sides of my ribs nice and secure on the mat. From there we can kind of walk our way up through our spine and we get to the neck or the cervical spine. And this should very naturally be off of your mat. Should have a nice natural curve there where there's no compression or pushing or forcing the neck into the mat. And then you get up into the crown, or not the crown of the head, but you get up into the back of the skull here, which is really the most bony or protrusive point of your skull. And that's what's resting heavily on your mat. Now for some people, the neck, this is very bothersome to be right here. Really quick tip for you, 
is take a washcloth or a little hand towel and place it right underneath that bony protrusion of your skull. This is going to re immediately relax those neck flexors and allow you to be a little bit more at ease until everything starts to relax and loosen through your shoulders, your neck and your traps to give you a little bit more comfort here on your mat. So if that's you, grab a towel to do that. It helps so much. It's so much better than being here, right? I've had a lot of clients and a lot of students that are here. And just by taking that little towel, that little cushion underneath their head, they're able to get into a more neutral alignment. Okay. So that is neutral spine here on your mat. Again, you want to check in, making sure that all those curves are in place. Then we can start adding in our Pilates breathing. We can start adding in, engaging that pelvic floor, engaging the transverse abdominis and deep into all of those wonderful core muscles that we target in our Pilates class. But first and foremost, we want to make sure that we are in neutral. Now, I want to show you what can go wrong really quickly is even in this position, the moment that we start to put some things together, we can lose that neutral spine. So one of the things that I see happen very often with my students is the second I tell them to go into a tabletop position. So tabletop is right here with our knees elevated and they're in a 90 degree bend. So our knees are directly over our hips and our, our feet are directly out from our knees. Now, what often happens here is that we either lose that neutral and we start to arch through the low back because there's just not enough control through the center, right? Or we tuck the tailbone up because again, there's not enough control to stay in that neutral and we need some support and we really lift that tailbone off of the mat. So what you want to do to find that neutral spine here, and it's a lot of work, you guys. So if it feels challenging, it is. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Some of these Pilates exercises look super simple, and then you get into them and you realize, holy cow, there is so much going on here. So again, I want you to start off finding that neutral spine. The breath and the engagement of our center is really what helps stabilize that spine and really particularly through our pelvis so that we're not rocking on the mat. So once you've got your neutral, I want you to just take a nice deep exhale, feel that pelvic floor lift, feel your transverse abdominis cinch together and feel that spine get nice and long. Ribs are hugging in. Then inhale. On the exhale, again, engage really deeply through all that musculature, holding that neutral spine and float one knee at a time to tabletop. Then hug your knees together. Now from here, I want you to see if you could just breathe, just hold that position without tipping your spine. If you're in this position and you immediately feel that your back is arching, what I want you to do is make a little triangle with your fingertips, place it right underneath your sacrum, and that's gonna immediately help you to release that arch in the back and get back into a more neutral position. This is great for you until you learn how to deeply engage those core muscles to hold you there by themselves. The other thing that you may find is that you're tucking or curling. And what I want you to do here is really, again, you could do that same thing, that same little triangle to allow your body to say, okay, it's safe to come to that neutral position. Or you could just allow your body to um, open up until you feel like you're gonna lose control, right? So you may not be right at 90 degrees, but you may be here where you feel like, okay, I can hold it and nothing's popping, nothing's arching, and I'm also not compressing down down into my mat. So finding that position for you is going to be, it's going to be different for every single person. Our goal is coming into this nice 90 degrees neutral spine. So all my natural curves are in place. I'm not rounding through the shoulders and the chest. I'm relaxed through the upper body. I can breathe deeply in my Pilates breath. And oh my gosh, am I working so hard right now just holding this position. So I hope that's helpful for you guys um, and you're able to to really take that neutral spine principle and apply it to all of your supine work. We can do it on single leg stretch, single straight leg. Um, you could do it on crisscross, all of those. Because once you take neutral spine and you add it or layer it into that abdominal work that Pilates is known for, you are going to start noticing such a 
uh, an increase of challenge in your work and also an increase of the results. Um, and then I will do another video another time that gets into neutral spine and what that looks like in different positions for our body. But for today, I just wanted to cover supine while we're lying on the mat. So I hope that's helpful for you. I hope that really elevates your Pilates practice um, and that you are going to be able to see some really amazing results in the core musculature just by applying that neutral spine. I will see you back on your mat very soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If it was helpful for you, will you please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Do all of the things in order to stay up to date with my channel and know what's coming out next. I really appreciate all the support, and I want to be able to offer you guys content that's going to really help you and transform your Pilates practice. So I look forward to hearing you in the comments below, anything that I could do to help and support you. Uh, and let me know if there's other types of fix form fixes that you want to see, and I will be sure to record those for you guys. I will see you in the comments below.